Shai Ghazani. I'm the president and CEO of Neurometrics Incorporated. So we specialize in devices that stimulate and measure nerve signals and we use this technology to develop instruments that physicians use to diagnose and treat a variety of different nerve disorders such as carpal tunnel syndrome, back and leg related issues, and most recently we've been particularly focused on nerve damage associated with diabetes, which is the most common chronic complication of diabetes. Neurometrics uh, was uh, founded in 1996 as a spin-off from Harvard Medical School and MIT with technology uh, that allowed us to develop instruments to measure and stimulate nerves. And this technology is used to develop devices that can be used to diagnose as well as treat a variety of different nerve disorders. Our diabetes strategy is to focus on a particular complication of diabetes, which is called diabetic neuropathy, or the nerve complications of diabetes. Uh, that is one of the most common con chronic complications of the condition. Uh, it leads to very severe complications, including uh, foot ulcers, which may lead to amputation, increases um, the risk of falls, particularly in the elderly, elderly, and can lead to severe pain. No medical device company is focused on this complication, so we're looking to be the, uh, the premier medical device franchise focused on diabetic neuropathy. We, over the past 10 years, we've been focused on commercializing devices that allow physicians to uh, diagnose various kinds of nerve disorders, um, everything from carpal tunnel syndrome to back problems to, in fact, the nerve complications of diabetes. Uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, we decided that the most uh, fruitful um, business for us would be to focus on diabetes exclusively. So we restructured our company. So at the present time, we have, a, we have one particular product on the market for diabetic neuropathy. It's called NCSTAT DPN Check. Uh, and it's representative of our general business model, which is to sell um, devices, or in fact, in many respects, to give them away in order to obtain revenue from the consumable stream that follows from that device. So it's basically a classic razor, razor blade business model. So NCSTAT DPN Check is the first product uh, that we put out specifically to, for the diabetes market. Uh, we launched that product uh, in the fourth quarter of 2011, so we have two quarters of experience behind us. Uh, and it's been a very positive reception um, uh, thus far. We have focused primarily on uh, selling the product into the endocrinology and podiatry markets uh, in, the United, in the U.S. Uh, endocrinologists and podiatrists are uh, those clinicians that focus most uh, acutely on, uh, on neuropathy and in particular the, uh, the, um, the, the foot issues in the case of podiatrists. So they're a very natural market for us to go after initially. We have a direct sales force that's selling into that market. Uh, we've had very good initial uh, reception. Uh, we've been very, very, very pleased with that. In addition, we've also been, um, been looking to expand beyond that market into a variety of other markets, including the managed care market and the retail health market. And we just recently announced that Walmart Canada has uh, decided to adopt the NCSTEC DPN check in all their pharmacies in Canada that are, uh, that are serviced with, a, with a, what's called a certified diabetes educator. So they have a very strong diabetes focus in their pharmacies in Canada, providing services uh, to the community around uh, helping uh, their, uh, the, the, uh, the people in the community better manage their diabetes, and so they've decided to adopt the technology in their pharmacy. So that's our first success in the retail health market. So we're very, very excited by the initial uh, adoption and really all the markets that we've, uh, that we've set out to, uh, to target. In our first quarter uh, earnings, uh, we just announced that we have uh, 15, a little over $15 million in cash on the balance sheet. We have no debt. Uh, we actually completed a financing uh, in the first quarter uh, to improve our, our balance sheet. So we have adequate cash resources at this point to, um, to continue to build the market and to demonstrate that we are building a unique diabetes franchise in the diabetic peripheral neuropathy space. So we're quite confident that we have the resources necessary to hit on some very important milestones to continue to demonstrate that we are we are developing a very unique uh, business in the diabetes arena. Um, as far as our management team, we have a, a very experienced management team. Um, many of my um, senior managers have been with me uh, for uh, at least a decade, particularly on the R&D and marketing sides. Uh, we have refreshed management, particularly on the finance and commercial operations side in the past several years. Uh, so management is, is, is a good combination of experience, uh, is specifically in our industry and with our company, 
as well as 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 new uh, new backgrounds and and, and fresh and a fresh perspective on building the business. So uh, it's a very it's a senior team, very experienced in the medical device arena, and uh, we're quite confident that we have the the right team to uh, to rebuild the company into the kinds of the kind of diabetes focused company we think it can be. Our objectives for 2012 are, are fairly clearly defined, and really what we're trying to do is to develop and demonstrate um, significant progress uh, in this uh, DPN or Diabetic Peripheral Neuropathy Initiative that we're, that we're, uh, we're engaged in. Uh, so in terms of specific objectives, uh, the most important single objective is to have uh, 1,000 uh, devices placed by the end of the year. And for us, that's very important. Uh, we, start, we went into the year with about a, a little over 100 devices placed in the fourth quarter. So this would be a significant increase over our initial, initial adoption. And for us, 1,000 devices placed uh, in various markets, including the endocrinology and podiatry markets I referenced before, retail health, managed care, as well as some international markets. The reason that's so important is we think at about 1,000 devices, that's a first inflection point where there's a, a sufficient density of adoption to start to get peer-to-peer -peer selling uh, as well as community references that allow you to really accelerate adoption beyond that. So our objective for the year is to get to that first level of adoption, which for us we believe is about a thousand devices. Uh, so we, we placed about we placed about 227 devices in the first quarter as we just announced. So uh, we have uh, a little over uh, about 350 or so. So we're well on our way to that objective. Another objective for the year is to demonstrate that we can expand our product. Uh, portfolio beyond uh, this NCSTAT DPN check, which is a diagnostic product, to include therapeutic products. So we're developing another product called SEDSYS, which is a pain therapy product. This is a therapeutic product, not a diagnostic product. And our plan for the year and our objective is to launch that product before the end of the year. And in fact, we just filed with the uh, our 510K, our pre-market notification, with the FDA uh, in the last week, as we announced via press release. So our objective is to get that product on the market. So specifically, it was one to file the 510K. The second was to, to do a marketing launch of the product at the annual Diabetes Association meeting in Philadelphia in early June, and then to commercially launch the product before the end of the year. So those are our two key objectives. The first, to, to, to uh, place 1,000 devices of NCSTAT DPN check, and the second is to launch our first therapeutic product, thereby demonstrating expansion of our product portfolio before the end of the year.